My wife and I have this pig operation here. We raise feeder pigs to sell to 4-H kids. We've been doing it about five years, I guess, and Dr. Pohl has been a big part of it. It's been nice. That's a good girl. Doc Pohl is a heck of a guy. He cares for animals very much, and he cares about the people who take care of the animals. It means a lot to me when I can go up to the office and ask him a question, and he will give me advice with no charge. I mean, you can't get that anymore these days. And for Doc Pohl to give me advice like that, it's, it's second to none, it's, it's awesome. This is our sow, Shirley. She was cut on this hind quarter right here. Come on, girl. I'm not exactly sure how it happened. I think maybe she was fighting with another pig. Pig fight! When I got home from work and seen it, I was immediately on the phone with Dr. Pohl, and they were here within an hour. Okay, let's see how bad it is. Doc Pohl took a look at it, and he said, wow, that's really a bad cut. He tried to put the needle through the pig's hide and he couldn't do it. He had to go sharpen the needle and uh, it was kind of comical. Hi sweetie, I love you too. <laughs> he did a good job when he left. He only had three stitches in there and I thought, how are three stitches going to hold that? But surely healed right up. Within a week, you couldn't even tell the pig was cut. Scars right here. It's a three-way cut. You can't really even see it. You wouldn't know it if, you know, if you didn't know the pig. <laughs> She had a litter of pigs in <laughs> July, and she was the best mothering sow in the barn. She did a good job, and actually I'm keeping a couple of her piglets for replacement gilts just because she done so well. This one here, and then that, this one right here. Get down, buddy. Get down, beast. I've learned to listen close to Dr. Pohl in the last five years. You gotta be on your toes when he's here because he doesn't have a lot of time. If you listen close and do what he says, things will usually work out. He's gonna do the best he can to take care of your animals. He's not afraid to come and take care of things. 